CataractCoach.com, Zen Stent Placement for Glaucoma, Tips and Tricks for Success with this Glaucoma Outflow Surgery. Now, this patient's already pseudophagic, but needs another procedure to help lower intraocular pressure due to glaucoma issues. So, traction suture being placed. Let me tell you about our podcast, the top podcast on all of ophthalmology. You will absolutely love it. You will learn so dang much. I promise you. You got to check it out. It's on Apple, Amazon, Spotify, anywhere you find your podcast, you're going to find the Cataract Coach Podcast. Search for it. I promise you'll love it. Now, with the traction suture in the eye, now it's time to place the Zen stent. So, making an incision here. Now, you can do this then with, number one, you can do an ab internal closed conscious primary needling like this video. You can also do an ab internal open conge, or you can do an ab external open conge. So, here going inside with some viscoelastic, just to give yourself a little bit of room there. That looks great. And the ideal placement of this Zen stat is just anterior to the trabecular meshwork. And what's neat in this video is after it's placed, we're going to put up the gonio to check and confirm its positioning. So here we go, here comes the device. So again, advancing it over here, choosing that spot that you, like, that you want. And notice that if you're putting in the supranasal area, it allows for a supratemporal trab or tube if you need it. So there it is being placed, nice and easy. And that's a really good looking positioning here. And then we're gonna confirm it by putting up the gonio mirror, gonio prism. So there we go, there's the device. And that's going to create an outflow channel from the anterior chamber into that subconj space here. And now let's take a look. There it's already placed. Here's the mirror. And look carefully. There it is, just anterior to the trabecular meshwork. Now we sped this video up two times normal speed, so that's okay. So now you can wash out the viscoelastic here, just using a cannula lens and BSS to irrigate it out. And at this point now, you need to prepare that conj area and sweep the tenons out of the way. So that distal tip of the Zen, you want to make sure that you're not going to get any tenons blocking it. Ideal placement is just anterior to the trabecular meshwork. You always want to use that gonia to confirm that. Remember, the Zen can get clogged by chronic pigment in the anterior chamber, so you don't want to touch any pigmented tissue like the trabecular meshwork, ciliary body, or iris, etc. And so also this supranasal placement really is smart because now it allows you for a future supratemporal trab or tube if you ever need it. So now going in here, this is important to sweep the tenons away from the distal tip so that you have a nice big bleb with adequate outflow. Remember, if these tubes get clogged by pigment or inflammation post-op, then the lumen can be yagged with the gonio mirror. So about two millijoules of energy, just a few shots if you need so. Now here going in and sweeping away, keeping that tenons away from the distal end, and this is just using a needle here. Notice how the needle came um, under the conge away from it, kind of tunneling over that area. So you don't, you don't want to have a hole in the conjunctiva where that bleb is going to be. So advancing that, sweeping, getting a good sweep there. And look at this two-handed technique. This all looks pretty darn good. And now once this is done, you're basically done with the case here. Now you can definitely use mitomycin C on these cases. That helps. And here in this case, we're going to put some in as well. Usually a good dose there is on the smaller side, so 40 micrograms of mitomycin C. And so this is really a relatively straightforward procedure, definitely in the wheelhouse of most anterior segment surgeons. It's very efficient, right? The surgical time in this case was about 10 minutes or so. We're showing the video at 2x. So here's all that sweeping of the um, tenons away. A little bit of BSS there. And then here comes a little small aliquot of mitomycin C, just a little bit, and spread that around. And then basically, you're done with the procedure. Seal up your corneal incision, take out your traction suture, and call this a day. And these patients tend to have a pretty nice effect. And again, it's a relatively straightforward procedure, easy to do for any anterior segment surgeon. The nice part here is it's less invasive and better tolerated for patients with severe to maybe moderate to severe glaucoma, let's say. I think this is going to give you a little bit more effect than MIGS. There we go. Than a traditional MIGS procedure, let's say like a small stent. And so at the end, take out that suture, sealed up the incisions, beautiful outcome. What do you think? If you try this procedure, leave me a note below. And remember, check out our teaching website, cataractcoach.com. Follow me on social media. You want to, you can see the videos on Instagram. Check it out.